Deli Ho everyone and welcome back to another episode of Civilization 5 Brave New World playing as the Mahdi Civilization. Lulu! <laughs> Final Fantasy X. Which I now know the reference of, which is cool. Awesome. St. Paulton. Okay. Right. I'm not gonna put everybody in the water yet. Oh, for f the Oh. You've gotta be joking me. Again. Fracking hell. You know what? Upgrade that guy. Arr. Look, dude, can we like make peace? Can we make peace, please? Easy, nah. Get it, you can take that city over and over again until we're all dead of disease. Nobody cares. Like, literally, nobody cares. You've made your statement, go away, win your stupid victory, I don't care. Look, I mean, I've been leaving you alone. I was thinking of invading you, but... <laughs> yeah, it's it's literally not going to happen. And I know it's not going to happen. I am leaving you alone. See, if there's one thing I hate about this game, guys, I'm really not finding much attachment to the... Uh, to the map. Like, I haven't latched on to any specific things that the map's, like, generated. Like, none of it looks really amazing. Like, it was cool to have Sarah de Potosi here. In fact, this is my favorite part of the whole game. Just this area in general. That's nice. And yeah, we had the Serpada, but pff, that area sucked. Kind of in general. I might still raise Florence, though. It's just stupid. Can't liberate it because. Austria bought it in a diplomatic marriage, which means it's hers forever. In fact, same thing with Sydney. Can't liberate it. Would totally liberate, but cannot, because there's nothing to liberate. They, it was a diplomatic marriage. Now, hopefully they don't move up all the troops again, but I get the feeling they will. They'll be like, oh, we need the slam dunk. Because in this situation, they're not going to get in as easily, because they've pulled back so many of their forces. Hmm. And I'm glad we could keep the city. In fact, this city is ours now. Basically, this city's ours. Even though we've got to rebuild the stupid courthouse. So no, it's not ours. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> There's always more to it, isn't there? But yeah, the culture here is great. Of course, we'll need the population to actually get the culture. Um, when are we stealing from Sweden? Hopefully, this turn. In fact, we can't steal from you, so we'll steal from Austria instead. Go, go, go. Run. Go. Quick. Come on. Do it. Alright. I think we made it. Steal! Yes, we stole. But what are we going to steal? Man, I would love the Eiffel Tower. Oh, right, no, it's already been built. What am I talking about? Flight! Because then all our Moe statues get an extra... Yeah, they get gold now, which is fantastic. Hey, hey, hey. Um, pew, pew. Yes. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that's right. Another submarine! We have a submarine fleet that consists of ships we managed to, uh, to, to, uh, to get with our ability. Hopefully we can capture this one, too. Ha <laughs> ha! Never! In the famous words of, not Shia LaBeouf, but in the famous words of four. Another! That's what we keep getting. Look at this! A submarine fleet. I mean, yeah, we lost our, our admiral, which was really depressing, because I love the admiral. Look at all these submarines! It's like a collection! Oh, man! We've got our escort. And it looks like that, uh, that barbarian ran away. Which is really nice. Yeah. You can actually go back, I guess. I guess. We're still unhappy, though. Not a fan of the unhappiness. Can't shoot anybody. That's a good thing, though. No news is good news. Um, yep. Stay there. Oh, and you can... Well, no, I'd love to, but... I'm gonna leave him alone if he leaves me alone. And I think that's actually the case. We might have already won this. I think I'm going to go straight for that stock exchange. 
But we'll exchange our... Yeah, we'll build the stock exchange here. An observatory too. Um, international games. Yeah, build the factory. Factory's good. Then again, I don't. I don't trust Sweden. I. I do not trust Sweden. No, I don't. I don't trust Sweden at all. <laughs> no, he's gonna. He's gonna try and complete that if he can, and I do not want to let him do that. I don't want to give him. I don't want him to win by two production or something, because honestly, you saw my papal game, if you saw my papal game, well, I just spoiled it for you, but that's only one small aspect of the papal game, because the papal game's awesome. Watch the papal game. Watch it! I'm not forcing you to do anything against your will, but watch it! Watch it, buddy. And we did get new Schwanstein, so, yeah, you'd think happiness wouldn't be an issue now. That one of the reasons I actually want to take over Vienna is for the Forbidden Palace. So we can actually get more happiness. I mean, she built two... What did she build? She built... Did she build a Broadway? Let's have a look. Cause, I mean, I am going for her. I'm definitely going for her city. Look at that. And yeah, he just he just popped his technology, I think. Um, with his archaeological thing. Which is terrible for us. Yeah, she built Broadway and the Statue of Liberty. She didn't get the Eiffel Tower, though, because you probably built it, didn't you? Wait, no, who built the Eiffel Tower? Oh, no, it was you, wasn't it? What? Eiffel, 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 Eiffel. Eiffel Tower hasn't been built? Is that what it's telling me? The Eiffel Tower hasn't been built. Oh, my God, I think it is. Also, we have flight, but we don't have oil, so what's the point? Oh, man. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Ugh. It's such a slog. I'm so glad we got all this. Look at that submarine fleet. It's beautiful. In fact, that's it. Submarine fleet is our key to success here. I'm not going to send them against the, um, against the Earth well, though. Because they are too powerful. But, submarines plus a privateer that can capture enemy ships plus massive awesome force of taking out things equals mega deaths don't know what I just said but it sounded awesome alright get into the water get in and you too Johnny I don't want to go on a big boy ride well you gotta go on Johnny you don't want me to be disappointed now do you no no I don't oh Look who's coming down to stop on by and hop a carpet and fly. Mm. Can we make peace? Like, you suck. No, we can't. I know. I know. You just suck. Erg. Uh. Yeah, go back to the pillage all my own if you want, because there's plenty more where that came from. Yeah. I mean, he might have a big army here or something. Yeah, and he's getting a lot of science from those jungles. I'm very jealous of that. I don't have any jungles. No, I don't, do I? Oh, that wasn't the wisest of uh, courses of action, but okay. Yeah, so we're going to use this as our naval base for attacking Vienna. Of course, not right now, because, you know, we're massively unhappy, which is really boring. However, very soon, we will have enough faith to purchase a great engineer to get the Kremlin, and hopefully get our science way up into the heavens. Or he will build it right here, and I will be very sad. <laughs> can go either way at this point. Yay, we can naturally build privateers, frigates, and seaports now. Not that I care too much about any of that stuff. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And surely I've put enough production into this. Also, we'll get happiness from this. But yeah, the one-time increase does not matter to me at all. Anyway, what does that say? No, 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 no. Ah, why did you do that? Why did you do that? It does, however, look like the, uh, what's this called, have fallen back, which is really nice. 
the what's his face, yeah. The, uh, the Iroquois, the Iroquois, the however you pronounce it, because I want to be respectful, if you're respectful about me pronouncing Mario right, which is great. Correctly is the better word for it. Correctly. Now, maybe move you back because, well, we're unhappy and being unhappy means people aren't going to reciprocate to us as much. But you can go there, you can go there, you can go to, well, there, you can go to, well, also there, and everybody else in the water. Into the water, everyone. There's plenty of room for everybody. Very good. Very risky crossing the, the ocean, though. Especially in this day and age. Um, okay, so in two turns? No, one turn. One turn? I think in one turn? No, two, I think it's still two. Two turns, we shall have the ability to get... Oh no, it is one turn, isn't it? Because it's two... What is it? Two, two, five, oh. No, it is two turns, sadly. Yerevan declared war on me. Where are you, Yerevan? Show yourself! I think that's this one down here. No, it's Tyre, but we're already at war. The war, General. I'm really glad he backed off. I don't know why he backed off, but he did. Must have realized I was getting really angry with him. Yay, building circus. Thank you, city. At least you're being semi-decent. Which is good. Crystal Redenta got built. Probably by... Well, actually, it should tell me who built it. Let me guess. It was you. It was not you. It was... It was her! <gasps> she built it! Oh my god, she built it. Did she build it in this city? Look for it. Where is it? I do not see it in this city, so she probably built it in another city. This will be a great city to take. Look at that, though. 184 strength. God. That is intense. <laughs> we're catching up, but we're not going to make it. Hey, at least I'm not the last civilization in the world. I'm genuinely trying now. I can't pull any maneuvers out. Which sucks. Usually I have a maneuver. My only maneuver is this submarine navy right now. Which is still a pretty good good maneuver. Alright, move up. Make room for the landings. I'm gonna be moving that giant army across the uh off across the lands. Well, get in the water somewhere there. <sighs> Look at all these submarines. Mwahaha. <laughs> In fact, we've got, like, so many. <laughs> ah, the submarine fleet. If anybody's got a bigger navy, they're not going to for long. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's really not good. Yep. That's not good at all. Right, you go in that city. That will alleviate the unhappiness a little tiny bit. Alright, let's go see what's down here. <laughs> yeah. So... Do you have walls? Do... In fact, yeah, you've got really good uh, defensive structures. Right, I'm going to do that. Oh, look, it's complete. Look, son of legend. You know what? You can build me some well not riflemen. Ugh. I suppose some more Gatling guns. Yeah. And then next turn we'll be able to get that great engineer. Can we get a piece yet? She oh dear. Yeah. Things are not going good for us. However, I can get a ton of money for culture. 
Yay for taxes! Where are we getting this uh, great scientist? Probably our capital. Yeah, they're probably going to take that city in one hit. I wouldn't be surprised. Or maybe they won't aim for that aspect of our civilization. However, they are situating those... Uh... Oh man, yeah, they're in this to win it. In it to win it. Hmm. They've got a l they've got plenty of units here. They can definitely do it if they really want to. Hmm. Let's stop our unhappiness. <laughs> yes, benefits of losing city. Uh, happiness goes up <laughs> because there's less people to care about. That's great. That's great uh, socialist thinking about. <laughs> oh no. Right. I think what I'm going to do is go a little bit longer. And then, we shall end it. So hopefully we won this. Yay, more people at war with me. So yeah, this, this game has gone tragically. Um, but I will go to the end. Whatever the end may be. Yeah, I won it. I won the thingy. That sounded wrong. Okay. Happiness would be nice, but we don't need it anymore. So what we're going to do is grab secularism, which made it go up. Big time. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. The situation here is kind of sad. But I think we've got a chance. Hmm. Not a good chance. Never said it was a good chance. Um, do that. You can do that. You can go there. And we're still going to go with our plan to head this way. Uh, this cavalry can actually... Wow. Kind of got the counter there, didn't they? Hmm. Kremlin. Get the... Uh, what's his name? The great dude. Oh, we can't get him from there. That's a bit of a bugger. Oh, no. That's not good. Right, great engineer. Make sure you click the right one. Alright, well, let's keep working on the stock. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that would be better. Yeah, get a granary, even though growing hurts us. <laughs> yes, we're thinking. Thinking. Uh, we're not thinking well, but we are thinking. Yes, attack that guy. You hang in there. That. Oh, dude. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Um. <sighs> Jeebus. You know what? Do that. Boom. You can come up. Perhaps you can get back to there. No, you cannot. I'll send you to there. Yep, and just stay there. And, well, move our submarines into a more optimal position. Ready to engage. Because trust me, we are going to get a lot of stuff out of this. If I have my way, which I hopefully will. Man, yeah, so my idea of playing this game now, well, this game specifically, is keeping your sieve afloat, which <laughs> doesn't seem like we're doing the best at. At the same time, we will be able to take out that artillery, and we'll be able to take out that cavalry. Oh, yeah. Actually, the defense of this city is quite simple, because they spam too many Comanche riders, which, as cool as they are, he's not using them right. Yes, and of course, submarines, I know, they're not exactly ideal for taking on cities. But the idea is that if we can decimate her navy, then we'll definitely have a fighting chance against her. Also, how long will it take to steal from her? Because, yeah, she does have Austrian infantry, and yeah, she's got a pool of tourism and all that stuff. All that really good stuff. It is going to take forever to steal from her. But in a hundred and whatever turns, we might be grateful that we put that spy in there. 
no. The, this game won't last another that long because the AI will definitely have won by then. It is only 1808 though. It is a proud achievement to already have railroads in 1808. Yes, I am creating glorious communist society for my people. Right, get rid of that guy. Um, the Politburo will destroy you. Zukov, you will be sent to Siberia. That is the Siberia of the world. <laughs> Sorry to anybody who actually lives in the place. Uh, the place of Kaipoi. <laughs> Pew. Well, we might actually win this. We might actually win this. We got a great general. Or did we get a... Oh yeah, no. I'm, see, the thing is, I'm always going to keep these guys. Absolutely. This guy might have a bit more trouble, though. However, he's survived this long. Why can't he survive a bit longer? Yay! Yeah, no. The rest, however. This guy needs to die. Because that's mine! How dare you mine my stuff! Oh, and... Let's go there. We bring glory to Aristoska. Oh, pew. Oh, I didn't see you there. Which is kind of bad. However... Haha! -ha. Fair play. Boom. Moving up. Moving up. Moving up. Moving up. Moving up. Cavalry! You will do your duty. To king and country. There's a island! <gasps> Wait a minute. One, two, three. <gasps> Artillery! Artillery can sit in this position and fire at the city there. And yeah, they do have a large navy, and that will give us an even larger navy. I have an idea. We're going to bring our privateers along for the journey. Yes, we are, son. Yes, we are. Right, you guys just chill. We're also going to bring this ironclad along. Yep, this is good. This is very good. Holy crap. Oh, because of that Pantheon bonus, this guy's healing a lot faster. Yes! That's awesome. She doesn't have it, does she? She doesn't. Which means she she doesn't get this bonus. Ha ha! Yay, Catholicism in this game. Which is actually beautiful. And yeah, we're probably going to get a bunch of Comanche Riders, which is kind of awesome as well. So who are we stealing from the best again? I know it's like 30 turns or so, but... Who was it? Was it the Iroquois? It was... Yes, it was! Funnily enough. Great Wall Bomber? I don't like that. What was that? That was a Gatling gun. Oh, that was over here, wasn't it? No. I was over here. <gasps> oh dear. We're being invaded from that direction now. At the same time... Oh. <sighs> you. So he built that. I was one... Well, actually, no. I was two turns from getting it. And if I had expended that great engineer on a wonder that was already built... So this isn't built, is it? This one is not built. It isn't. Alright, we can't excavate that until we know what the hell it is, which is kind of funny. Um, might be wise to actually bring this guy back, and yeah. Uh, stop it. Alright, you can go back to that, and bring that great general this way, because, you know, that's kind of where the front line is. Alright, go there. Set up. Do stuff. You know what? Sink that. If we sink that... Then they don't have Great Wall Bombers. And yeah, we're unhappy again. Why? Why does this always happen to us? Damn. Alright, you just chill. God, imagine we could capture that. Well, it wouldn't really do us much good. I don't think we get to save the planes in the actual thing. Which is a darn shame. Alright, let's keep moving things up. <laughs> it's funny. We've got a Hazar. They've got a Hazar. 
We've got a Hulk. And yes, they do have a bunch of subs, so we need to make sure we're the first ones to declare war. Hmm. And yes, unfortunately we are unhappy again. Why are we unhappy? Oh, stop it. Please stop it. Why are we unhappy? I don't know. Oh, we got Comanche Riders. Boom. Oh, and look at that. That is splendid. That's really splendid. Boom. Alright, move him back. Heal him up. This guy, unfortunately, has no job because his job was stolen by Swedish people. And he got that free policy that I could really use. Ugh. It's annoying. Alright, well, we'll do one more turn. I might keep changing my mind about what the definition of one more turn is. But we will try to do one more turn. Bring more artillery, eh? No, I don't want any of that crap. I wanted the Kremlin! I really wanted that. Now I've got to go for the Eiffel Tower. In fact, when can I enact this decision? Where is it? Oh, I can enact this decision. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going for. Look, Sweden, please don't build it. I know it's there. I know you want to. Then again, has it been built? I don't. I actually don't know. I need to check. Make sure it hasn't been built. She's probably just built it. She's probably just built it. Uh, Eiffel Tower. Tower de Eiffel. Because that gives us happiness as well, I believe. Yes, it does. So, is she building? Let's check what you're building. Yep, hello. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Show me. Ironclad anti-aircraft guns. Okay, tons of stuff but not the Eiffel Tower, which is what I want. Give me the Eiffel. The Tower the Eiffel. Oh, we got great scientists too. Oh my god, I can do this this turn. Do it. Which means you now have a choice. You can die, or you can live. Alright, machine gun that guy. Do that. Bring the frigate up. You can attack that, attack, and you can go and save. And you can come up. You get a car, you get a car. Everyone gets a car. But Carl. Alright, build it. Oh, right, of course. Here we go. Uh, where is it? Oh man, see, it is wise. It is so wise to do this. But somebody's going. Mm. No, because we can get the Eiffel Tower now. I know we're not going to win the game. Oh, but destroyers, they are so good. I could upgrade. I could upgrade my privateers. Mm. Mm. Look, nobody's built it. I'm going to double check that right now. Nobody's built it, right? I need to make sure I'm not being a total idiot right now. Nobody's built it. Oh, that's just too good, though. I had to do it. Look, guys, that was just too good to pass up. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to focus straight on getting radio. Mm-hmm. 
because it was a really good tech. I couldn't just pass that up. Alright, so you go there. Still gonna go for these. Um, oh, and there. Yeah. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> What would you what would you guys do? Actually comment that. That is a really good point. It was a great option. I'm not denying it was a really good option. I'm just saying it's not the option I took. You make decisions as a leader of a civilization. You make decisions you might not even want to make. And destroyers great thing about destroyers. Yes, we do need oil. I am not saying that we don't need oil. Because I know we do, and I know we don't have oil. Because obviously we don't have a tech for it. However. However. There is something to remember about this. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I know, what the hell. I had another idea. That's very expensive. If we get a great scientist. Wow. I totally just blew that. Um, well then. That was really shocking. However, there is one thing we can do with this great engineer. Not great engineer, great general. Is when oil pops up, we can immediately plop him down onto the oil. Yes. I'm still onto it. I'm still onto it. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Yeah, we're gonna die. Alright, do that. Boom. Boom. Cool. We can get tanks, though. Of course, we need oil still. Hmm. Might be worth just going to war right now. No. Next turn. Next turn, we'll go to war with, with them. And they can no longer be annoying for us. However, we will send everybody back to become destroyers, which we do not... <gasps> we can do it. It's very expensive to do it with privateers, but we can upgrade to destroyers, which means we can bear the brunt of aircraft carriers now. Not aircraft carriers, just aircraft in general. Let's hope nobody builds the Eiffel Tower, and let's just go with it. See what happens. Let's just, just, just do it. This game is very interesting, guys. Uh, even if we lose, this game is very, very interesting. I'm having great fun with this whole game. Because it's just so different. It's it's an odd game. Yeah, we might lose the game. Lost the game. <laughs> but at the same time. Oh. Yeah, they are coming for us. But at the same time, we still have the Citadel here. And our economy is really crap. That's one of the parts that I am concerned about. Ooh. Lost a great war infantry. Oh, I see. They hadn't actually made that move yet. We have this great general, though. And we have another great general. Unfortunately, we lost our great general in the north. But that's fine, because we have that one. Oh, and we also have a great general over here. We have generals for our wars. Ah, that deficit, though, is horrible. I don't like that. This city needs to grow faster. Oh, man. Also, Austria is the ally of this city. Oh, no. Oh, that's crummy. Work. Market. Factory. Not factory. Uh, public school. Get more science going. So we can get the Eiffel Tower, which will give us tourism, which will stop us from dying as bad. And we need oil for that. Boom. You just stay there. Alright, I'm going to end this episode probably. Well, we can go to war right now. Now, I've got an idea. We're going to war next turn. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
I'm going to deploy these submarines in a certain fashion where we're just going to take out the Navy in one big hit. It's going to be a blitz. We're going to blitz their fleet in one big glorious hit. I'm going to have all of these guys into range. Yeah, that's good. That's very, very good. Why we've got that? He should be dead. So. He will be dead soon. But yeah, well, do that and then do well. That go back and then that. More money. Money. Also. Ugh. Also, the general and range of those units. We can also do that, which won't do much. Oh, a battleship. It's a battleship. Oh, I'm very concerned with where this game is going, but it's awesome. Because I'm still clueless as to where it is going, actually. I am trying. But at the same time, I'm just having fun. If we lose this game, we lose trying very awesome maneuvers. Which may or may not work, but we will still do them. Alright, everybody is prepared for this glorious war in which we build a massive navy by destroying enemies. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Tell you, till then.